Summer Sharon Store Decor. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the tulip petal for the flower bouquet wreath. This is what you're going to be needing. 10 by 10 mesh in the colors of your choice. I'm going to be using purples, dark pinks, light pinks, and yellows. Uh, greens are going to be for the leaves. You will need scissors, a rotary cutter, the mat to cut your mesh on. These are from the dollar store elastic bands. They're great for keeping the petals together. And the clips I use to hold them while I make each individual petal. This is what you're going to be need for making this petal today. Basically, it is two of the scoop petal or lolly petal joined together to make it look like a tulip. I bought this mesh, Polypro mesh ribbon from Hobby Lobby. It is quite thin, so it's kind of like see-through. I like to use two pieces per petal. So we start with a 10 by 10 piece, curl side up. We put two pieces together with the seam on the left side. You start with the top corner and you fold down to the bottom corner and just flatten it out. You're going to pinch in the middle like so, and you're going to fold and drag your piece into the center. Take your other side and fold and drag into the center and you form like a scoop. That's when your clips come in handy. You clip it together, get your little garbage pail and your scissors and trim off the bottom. We'll do that again. You take your curl side up and again, we're using two pieces per just because the mesh is a little bit thin. Seam to the left, take the top corner, fold it down to the bottom and flatten it out. You'll pinch in the center. You'll take your top, fold it in and drag it down to the bottom. Same thing with this side, fold it in and drag into the center. And then you've got your little scoop. Now we're going to trim off the bottom. got your other scoop. You put them together and now is when we're going to take our rubber band and we're going to rubber band them together. One, two, and now you've got your two lips to look like a tulip. Let's do that again. I've got my two pieces together already. I'm gonna start curl side up, start from the top, seam on the left, fold to the center, flatten it out, pinch in the middle, curl to the bottom, drag it to the bottom center, format your little scoop. it. Clip that one. Each of these pieces are cut 10 by 10 and you don't have to worry about heat sealing it at all, which is a really good thing about this petal. Again, corner to corner, fold it in half. Flatten it down, pinch in the middle, fold and drag to the center, fold and drag to the center. You can form it out. They do not have to be perfect. Each petal can be a little bit smaller or bigger. They do not have to be exact. So then you take your petal and your other petal and you join them together. Now they could be a little bit up, 
They could be a little down. They could be right in the middle. However you want to see your petal look. Then you get your rubber band. And secure it together. And now you've got your tulip petal. I make about eight to 10 petals each per color. And it all depends on how you want it to look when you go to your board. All you do is take your 10 by 10 piece, start from one corner and roll all the way up to the top. And you've got your stem now. So I took my 10 by 10 piece of mesh curl side up. I went from the top corner to the middle and the bottom to the middle and then I just scrunched it so it kind of looks like that and it it's okay if it's messy it doesn't have to be perfect. You could use We are ready for our next step now that the petals are made we are going to be placing them on our wreath board. This is a unique in the creek triangle board which today we are going to be use, using upside down because the cone shape reminds me of when you get your flowers delivered. So what we're going to be doing is placing the petals on the board, not attaching them, just placing them to see what looks visually acceptable to your eye. So I'm going to be using five petals of each color. I'm gonna start with the pink and I'm gonna put it up a little bit to the top so it's like the tallest part of your um, bouquet. And we're gonna do, like I said, five petals each. And we're just gonna put them on the board. And then we can go to our light pink, put them over here, and we're gonna kind of round it. So instead of it being at the top, maybe we'll be attaching them to the second holes. And then we just keep placing them on. Okay, now I'm going to go to my next color, my purple, and I'll put those on. And then we can do our yellow. Okay, that looks good so far. Then I'm going to be cutting 10 by 10 inch pieces of the green mesh, rolling them. And these are going to be the stems of the flowers that stick out on the bottom. And then we'll put a bow in the middle. And as we attach our petals, if there's any spots that are showing on the board, we can also use these as like leaves sticking out in the bunches. Our next step will be to attach. Okay, now we're ready to attach. So we're gonna move our stems to the side and we know that we're gonna be doing our yellow on the bottom so we can just push that out of the way for now. Same as the purple and the pink, we're gonna push to the side. Okay, so we're gonna start with our tallest dark pink, which I think might be this one. Uh, this one, we will use that one. We're gonna start in the middle of the board, right on the number 12. And we're gonna go through the top and then back from the bottom. And we're going to attach our petal. Flip that off. Okay, we'll go to our next one. Let's see. Well, we can come down to row 11 and then just go right next to it.
So now it does cover the board and we don't have to put anything in these holes. So to cover everything, I think I'm going to come down to row 10 in the middle. So you know the board is numbered from 1 to 12 and we're just doing it upside down. So we have three on so far and we can either keep coming down a little bit or we could have gone over depending on how you how you like it what fits the best and we'll come over here Okay, I think we're gonna come down. Let's see. Yep, one, two, three, four. And this will be our last one. Hmm, let's see. How do I wanna face that? Maybe just like that. Your petals can come out a little bit. Oop. Gotta fix my zip tie. got our first five petals on. And our zip ties are all covered. So now we can start with the pink. And this is when you start to just see what visually will look, how it'll look nice. And you wanna cover the board. So maybe what I want is a petal there to cover it. Yeah. Stem, and I'm gonna call those leaves too, cause they can be leaves. Uh, I think I do want to start, uh, I'm not sure. You're just gonna have to play around. You might undo them if you don't like the placement. Yeah, I think I'm going to push that like that, that way, into the other ones. Flowers don't lay perfectly in a bouquet. Could be one behind the other.
All right, this petal came out of its rubber band, so I'm just going to take another little zip tie and zip tie that in kind of right next to it. Continue on with our pink. Oh, that should be good there. This is another reason why some can, some of the petals can go up, some of the petals can go down. That way you can choose which one will cover the bottom of the other petal so you don't see the zip ties the best. Okay, and then our next one will go I don't know, maybe now I want to put some leaves in here, kind of separating the two. I'm not sure where I want it yet. Yeah, that could look good in there. pink. There is no right way or wrong way to put your petals in. It's just, again, what visually looks the best as you place them in. You can always go back to, after you put your zip ties in, you can go back and cut the black little rubber bands off so you don't see them if they're showing. All right, now we're going to go to our yellow. And we can start putting that in. So, 
think that should be good there. And then I'm going to continue on. Okay, now we're at the end of our bouquet. And this is the bottom with the stems and the petals that are the filler of your bouquet. Or you can call it like the cellophane that holds it all together. I'll show you how I made that petal. All you do is take your 10 by 10 piece, start from one corner and roll all the way up to the top and you've got your stem now. I did two of them. You can even do three if you want and I did a zip tie in the middle. Then I did six of the long rolled pieces for the stems. So I did two on one side, two on the other side, and two in the middle. And I just kind of tuck them under. These two were up and this one was under. It's however you want. And then you can trim any of the little frays. But it's, the, you know, the more you touch it, the more it frays. But it's okay to look messy. It, it's a, it's a bouquet of flowers. Now we're gonna do our bow. 